so hello colleagues i'm dr rajiv kovil here a small uh, what do you call message to people about thyroiditis a lot of uh, doctors treat thyroiditis as if it's thyrotoxic you know what is thyroiditis and when should you treat and what should you treat it? so thyroiditis is a damage to the thyroid gland and that the reason for that we don't know but most people believe it is subacute viral thyroiditis now in the pandemic era there are several reports of covid induced thyroiditis also so what happens is that if you imagine the thyroid to be like a plastic bag filled with water and if you poke holes in the plastic bag the water will leak out in a similar manner manner that in thyroiditis the thyroid capsule is broken and the thyroid hormones start leaking into the blood so once the thyroid hormones start leaking into the blood because the thyroid hormones have a half life of 6 to 7 days it takes about four half lives for those hormones to start going out so you have to tell the patient that it will take you at least 8 weeks to 3 months for the thyroid hormones that are released to exit the blood there's no medicine to stop it giving say carbamazole doesn't help because those drugs only block thyroid hormone synthesis now after that this sort of thyroid gland which has been broken and the hormones have leaked out that gland has to recover and make new hormones sometimes the gland may not recover so there may be a period of hypothyroidism so how to diagnose thyroiditis in my view the best way to diagnose thyroiditis is to do a thyroid nuclear uptake scan once you do a nuclear uptake scan if it is thyroiditis if you are doing a technician scan the thyroid gland area will look completely blank there won't be any uptake whereas if it is graves disease or toxic nodular goiter where the gland is making more hormone it will light up so whether it is a thyroid gland making hormone which is called hyperthyroidism or thyroid gland leaking hormone which is called thyroiditis can be picked up by a nuclear scan of course in some situations you cannot do a nuclear scan like in pregnancy and 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 some other similar situations where you can easily make a clinical diagnosis but the importance of differentiating the two is that thyroiditis will not respond to anti thyroid drugs you have to manage with beta blockers whereas hyperthyroidism uh, will respond to anti thyroid drugs and of course radio iodine and surgery and so on so thyroiditis is very common sometimes the gland is very painful and tender thyroiditis in that case a small dose of steroids 0.5 to 1 mg per kg of prednisolone will really bring down the symptoms in other cases really giving steroids may not help 